Welcome back. Well, residents in Sanditon and Mpumalanga say they're finding it difficult literally to survive because of the water crisis they're experiencing. Several areas in the Sakile Township are experiencing acute water, acute water shortages. They've been made worse by, you guessed it, load shedding. Our reporter Mweli Masalela is there. Mweli, good afternoon to you. This really is a, a, a picture, a photograph, if you like, of what's happening in so many communities around our country. What problems are Sakile residents having? Uh, indeed, uh, Stephen, this is not a new problem. We know that uh, there's been several matches uh, held by residents of Standerton in the past, and uh, uh, the situation now, they are saying that, uh, according to the community members, it's getting worse uh, because of the load shedding. So as you can see here, I'm on the street here in extension to uh, Sakile Township. This is one of the most affected areas. In fact, community members, when I arrived here early, they told me that they've been waiting for a water tank uh, to deliver water water here and that has not happened until now so those are some of the issues that they are not happy about and uh, the democratic alliance uh, alliance uh, Stephen actually coming out they're releasing a statement uh, to say that they want um, action to be taken now considering the dire situation on the ground we had uh, uh, the member of parliament of the DA here uh, Angel Kanyele actually on the ground uh, assessing the situation and she's saying that uh, they engaged the municipality on several occasions about this issue and they were promised that uh, this matter will be addressed. According to her, uh, there was an issue with water valves in many of these communities and uh, there was a commitment from the mayor of this municipality that that issue will be attended to, but seven months later it still hasn't been attended to. Let's take a listen uh, to what Angel, Angel Kanyele had to say about the situation on the ground, Stephen. Community members say they don't have access to water, but they have their taps. Their taps have been dry for more than 10 years without any explanation that has been given to them. When we spoke to the executive mayor, he indicated that the issue here is the issue of the valves. Then one would have thought that it's just a minor issue that will be attended to shortly. And that's why he actually he made a commitment that the issue will be attended to very soon. But seven months later, even after that meeting, the community of Extension 2, they still go without water. And right now, they've also informed us that they have uh, the trucks, the water trucks has not been dispatched to this particular area for, for more than four weeks. That is why you can see all these buckets here. And they're also complaining that when, bike, when the trucks are also coming here, they are coming in here bringing dirty water. As a democratic alliance, on the 23rd of September, the, of September, we have written a letter to the municipal manager to address this issue, to give us a plan and to also give us um, um, a plan of exactly how he's going to resolve it. And we have given him ten, seven days to attend to the matter. And failing which, then we are going to take further action. As you have heard, that's a, a member of parliament for representing the democratic alliance. Angel Kanyele explaining what is happening on the ground. Well, I had an opportunity to speak to the mayor of this uh, Likwa municipality, uh, Louis Tabet, uh, saying that, well, as much as uh, he is very much aware that these are long standing issues, some of these uh, problems uh, come as far as when the ANC was still in charge, because we know that uh, uh, the mayor comes from the Likwa Community Forum, uh, which actually uh, now took over. Uh, as, a represent, uh, as, as a representation uh, from the, uh, in this municipality. But let's take a listen to uh, uh, Louis Tabete explaining that load shedding has also uh, worsened the situation in this area. Currently, the capacity of this water treatment plant, which was built somewhere around 1950, has a capacity of 27 megalitres per day, and the demand is standing at 42. So, which means we have a serious deficiency in as far as the amount of water we are abstracting from the river and the amount of water that we must supply uh, to the community. Therefore, it becomes very important that this water treatment plant needs to be upgraded so that the capacity can match the demand. So the feasibility study that we have done with the Department of Water and Sanitation seeks to do exactly that, which is uh, to ensure that we upgrade this water treatment plant. We also built a new uh, 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 reservoir, which will also ensure that there's enough water. Mweli Masalela for that live report and that update. Thank you very much indeed.